On this very special episode, I'm joined by newly elected councilwoman Rio Morales of Harlem, who has been instrumental in the effort to scale back Roxanne's expansion plans following the revelations that they endangered New Yorkers with their highly unstable energy source, New Form. Welcome, councilwoman. Thanks for having me, Mr. James. <laughs> I have to say, I was surprised when you reached out to my office. My producer, Jared, was insistent that we have you on. Something about needing to broaden our demographics, especially after your recent appearance on another much less popular show. Oh, yeah. Danica Hart was wonderful. My listeners would like to know, how do you plan to bring prosperity to your community? I think I speak to everyone when I say it's an area that has struggled for quite some time. True prosperity isn't brought in from outside by huge faceless corporations. It comes from sustained investment in the people that make our community so special. It's true that folks here have struggled, but that's only because they've lacked advocates in City Hall. I will be their voice. And my hope is with that support, the city and the world will see that we're a vibrant area full of brilliant artists, kind people, and now, even our very own Spider-Man. About that, you are now a publicly elected official. You are obligated to serve according to a constitution, laws, and time-tested ethical requirements, which I'm sure you respect. How can you reconcile that responsibility with your support of a vigilante who isn't bound by any of the same safeguards? Spider-Man is not our enemy. He's a New Yorker like the rest of us, and he's just trying to do what's right. And if you ask me, he couldn't be doing a better job. That doesn't replace my obligations to my community, nor anyone else's who serves in a public role. But I do sleep easier every night knowing that he's out there, helping us all pick up the slack. I'm happy to spend all day arguing why that sleep could easily become a nightmare. But we're out of time. And your approval polls are very high. So I'll just say thank you, Councilwoman. Jared will be sending you some lovely parting gifts, including my J. Jonah Java. The decaf substitute. Time capsule should be out on those pylons. Finn was fearless hopping off those back in the day. He's Spider-Man. Hey, looks like some rap prisoners are robbing a store. That looks like a robbery by some rap prisoners. Oh, stay back! We have hostages! Time to rejoin your friends on the island prison, my guy. Stay your purse!
clean enough escaped convicts for a minute, me thinks. Capsule. Used to be a dump, but I'm glad they cleaned it up a little. <sighs> hey, Miles, MJ's flying into JFK next Tuesday. You mind covering patrol for me? No problem. She's been gone a while, huh? We must be glad she's coming back. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised Sable let her go. MJ's profile opened by calling her cold, calculating, and humorless. Lavish praise at Simcaria. They're basically BFFs now. <laughs> now that's a cool team up. Cool and slightly frightening. Okay, hit you up Tuesday. Bye. And thanks again. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. Sure, it's light though. Yeah, wind chimes. That sounds good. This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. God paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up, take everything in his walk. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. He never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. Deserved that. I wish you had too. Maybe you and dad would have stayed close. And you and I would be okay too. wasn't this nice when we hit a capsule on the wall here. Man, time flies. Ha <laughs> 
more tech parts. Works for me. Roxxon and the Underground are trading shots nearby. How can they have a shootout with this many civilians around? You gotta step in. Stop him! You can just talk this out in a public forum. Let's say, like, a city council meeting? Everybody, bystanders are safe. It's time to head out. some rumors making the rounds of the pool halls and sleazy bars. Supposedly, Wilson Fisk has been trying to destabilize Harlem in order to make it cheaper and easier for him to acquire properties. All from the high bars! This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. Pretty sure it's behind me. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. He wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. He did make things better, Dad. And so will I. Back up on speed dial? Yeah. <laughs> 
And he nails the finish. Spider-Man does it again. I already got plans for this. Hey, Dana fans! You're tuning into my four part series, Underground Exposed. While Spider Man was shutting down the Underground's hideout in the Upper East Side, I found evidence of their days partnering with Tombstone's gang. Yep, you heard that right. They worked together off and on until an Underground killed one of Tombstone's people. Hugh Violent Hugh. The Underground were horribly, hopelessly outgunned. Then Tombstone was hauled off to prison, and not long after, the Tinkerer became their new leader and supplier. You can find more details on my blog. Till next time, try to tackle your hardest work between 2 and 3 p.m. Seriously, you're at peak attention span then. Bye! <laughs> Okay, Natural History Museum. Who on the postcard said, base in the park with the world up? This one's of the Empire State Building. High atop the Empire State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes. There's a flash drive attached. Hey, big man. Happy birthday. Oh my god. Dad. Scavenger hunt seemed like a fun way to celebrate 16. Tour down memory lane. Remember that summer you and Finn forced me to take you to the museum every weekend? Here's a secret. I love those trips. Used to be I felt guilty you didn't have any siblings. Things with your uncle are tough now. But I would have never made it to 18 without you. Anytime I'd see you with Finn, I'd feel less guilty. The other sister. Her. The Finn, now Genki. You'll always have family in your life. Love you lots, big man. See you at the next trip. Wow. I haven't heard his voice in so long. <laughs> Hope he left more messages with the rest of the scavenger, huh? Hey, sleepyhead. Did you find my note? Yeah. I followed the clue. And just... <laughs> Her dad. Did you do all this? Just the setup. Your dad made the clues last year. I know it's been tough since the move. Thought hearing from him could help. It does. Gracias, ma. De nada. Have fun with him. And remember, I'm here if you need me, Miles. You can tell me anything. Te quiero. Te quiero. Dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. It's got a good beat. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when Dad and Uncle Aaron were little. Nah, getting too far away. <sighs> Yeah, that's it. You probably don't know this, but your dad and I grew up not far from here, before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop, always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. 
I wanted to be a space alien. The dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help me. Yeah, sounds like that. Someone reported a mugging at a donation stand. Hey, friends, this is part of my series, Underground Exposed. I'm looking into who the Underground are and what they want with the help of Spider-Man. I had to prove myself when I said that. Okay, so, the Underground used to have a major grudge against the inner demon. Your mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. Yeah, it's subtle, but a good beat. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop, and I just started calling myself the problem. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. But last, though, your dad's job and mine crossed paths too often. Man, Uncle Aaron, if you would have been anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. Hey, young blood, you got almost everything you need for the track. You just unlocked the spot where you could find the last piece. Hope it works for you. The place where I bought him? Doesn't have the best memories, Uncle Aaron. Wonder where they get materials. Probably don't want to know. Are exactly Hell yeah, Spider-Man! <laughs> you doing anything? Man in subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good hideout. Maybe I should take a few swings. Nah, I'd probably break it. Use the sounds. Lock? Oh, something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the prowler. It led him to my clients, people like Simon Krieger, Wilson Fisk. Dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with me and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hope he back off. He did. Good. He didn't want me around. Didn't want you to turn out like me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything. Prisoners have taken hostages inside a store. Why is no one open the red? 
Looks like a robbery by some rats. We're not going back to the top, Spider-Man. Look, man, just let these people go. This doesn't have to get ugly. I'm gonna break you! safer with two of you. Cops would deal with this. I wonder if this is how Dad felt after a case. Watch it. What the... Good news.